What's up, everybody? Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. I'm Jack Slater, and let's rock and roll. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Fantastic Four, issue 48. Yes, the coming of the big man himself, the world devourer, Galactus. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Matter of fact, this is the whole reason the Outlaw started running this program. And it's finally here, y'all. And uh, yes, we're dealing with the Fantastic Four right now, but we're also cleaning up a mess from the Inhumans. Maximus the Magnificent, or Maximus the Mad, has uh, set loose a, a machine that's uh, vibrating and it will kill all the humans. And is basically knocking things down, destroying buildings, you know. The machine is causing so much stress, it's literally shattering the buildings around it. And this is where Black Bolt decides to intervene and stop his brother once and for all, for he has just crowned himself king after taking the title from his brother. He flies over to him and Maximus just kind of goes off in this long rant on how the Inhumans need to be the only race left, that they ought to destroy everyone and that he ought to be the one that rules. And Black Bolt just smacks the ever-loving hell out of him. And this is just pure content. Black Bolt can't talk, so he has to express himself in other ways. As Maximus is laying there, they point out the fact that the Inhumans are human, technically, even though they call themselves the Inhumans. They just have powers that were genetically given to them by another race. Who? that was a mouthful. Anyways, Medusa says that she'll stand with the, the true king, but at this point, Maximus has another surprise. He lets loose a, a negative zone portal, which kind of seals them all in Adelan, the refuge. And this is his last ace up his sleeve. He's going to seal them all in, away from the human race. And the Fantastic Four have limited time to escape. Of course, Johnny tries to grab Crystal, but it's too late. He they leave her trapped with her brothers and sisters in Adelan, the refuge, barely escaping. And this crushes Johnny, for he had a thing for Crystal. And he's just heartbroken right now feeling all bad about it but they have to move on life moves on especially life in the vast universe and cosmos the silver surfer wanders in looking for a new place for his master to eat to devour he has to find the right planet and the skulls see him and they worry for it's not the silver surfer they worry about it's galactus and they pray that the surfer will not stop in their system where Galactus will wipe them out. Meanwhile, the Fantastic Four is flying home. They begin to see two suns, and then after that, the sky starts to burn. Fire everywhere. And this is where Johnny kind of does something really stupid and decides to jump out of the plane and investigate what's going on. And since there's fire in the sky, Reed points out that they more than likely will blame him for the incident. He does try to stop him, but Johnny, being Johnny, takes off starts flying around and it puts people in reads right it puts people in more of a panic and uh, these guys actually use a fire hose to douse him the mighty human torch has been taken out by a fire hose and a brick just thought I'd tell you New York y'all what can you say anyways he's just hanging there right now and they're flying that cool little air cycle they have and the thing decides to drop in and save his buddy after all he had his heart broken you know and thing feels like breaking someone so it's clobbering time he lands there and uh, Johnny's actually putting up a fight, you know. He has some training. And I love how this guy just comes at thing, basically just calling him a phony, hitting him everywhere and uh, breaking his knuckles in the process. And thing with just one finger, plink, knocks this guy out. And this guy was tough. He might be uh, tough in bars, but he's totally outclassed. The thing lays him down a little nap, and the Fantastic Four regroup to figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, the surfer is surfing the cosmos, looking around, preparing, searching, trying to find that right planet with the right elemental mix for Galactus to feed on. And uh, back in the Fantastic Four building, things, of course, calling Alice in, and Sue's trying to get in contact with Reed, who's barricaded himself in his lab for a few days, and he's being real rude with her, he, he turns off the communication. When Reed gets into his work, he kind of forgets about everything else, which really angers Sue because they've gotten married, they haven't really had a honeymoon or anything else, and instead of being naked in Tahiti together, they're investigating an entire cosmic event in the sky's first fire and now rocks. 
debris, if you want to call it that. And Reed's trying to figure out what's going on, and all of a sudden the Watcher appears. And he reveals that he's the one that's been putting fire up in the skies and putting debris up in the skies as a camouflage to block out the Silver Surfer for finding this place. But the Silver Surfer's resourceful. He's had experience, and he knows his way around. He makes his way through the debris and finds the planet. Torch tries to go after him, but Surfer's just that much faster. And the Surfer glows. His energy is calling out to his master Galactus, telling him, I found what you're looking for. And Thing comes out of nowhere and just knocks him right off the building. Real classic. You know, they try to catch him, but it's going to take more than knocking the Silver Surfer off a building in order to stop him. And the Watcher points out that the Master is here. Surfer has done his purpose. And he sends out probes to make sure it's the right flavor, the right taste, the right elements. And to their dismay, the planet is everything Galactus wants to devour. And now he's here, the world devourer, the plague upon the universe, Galactus. And he is here to consume Earth, to consume everything, and leave it a dry, dead husk. Will the Fantastic Four be able to stop him? Will the Watcher lend a hand instead of sitting on the sidelines? We'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.